Hey, Melanie Beckler here with our angel card reading for this week. And we're going to use the Ask Angels Oracle cards to tune into the angelic guidance, love, healing frequency, wisdom, and inspiration that will most serve us as individuals and collectively together as one. So join me in shifting your awareness inside, focusing on your heart, finding that sensation of light and warmth, that glow of divine presence within your heart center, allowing your heart to open and allowing your awareness to center inside of your heart. As I now ask that we each be surrounded with divine light and love with our teams of guides, angels, and ascended masters of the highest Christed light, enter in, lift our frequency, connect with us as individuals, together as one, and with me through the Ask Angels Oracle cards with whatever will most serve. I am now just shuffling light into the cards, looking for the right cards that stand out or that draw my attention. Okay, so our first card for this week is Create with Archangel Michael. Remember that as a divine being present in physical form, you have a tremendous ability to co-create your life experience. And this week, this threshold between years is a powerful time and opportunity to refocus in on what are your intentions? Why, what is the big picture for what you really want to create in your life? And there's great benefit in tuning into this through checking in with your heart, going inward, allowing your heart to open, allowing your mind to open and your mind to clear, and allowing your inner inspiration to arise as to what you can create, call forth, manifest, and experience in your life that benefits, uplifts, heals, and aligns you with true joy and fulfillment, and that also serves in the highest interest of humanity, of the collective consciousness of all. This blend of service of others in a way that's joyful and fulfilling to you is the highest level of creation. And by getting clear on that now, moving into the new year, you're able to cut away the cords of attachment, the habitual patterns and responses, the things, the activities, the perspectives that are not actually serving you in your life, that are not actually serving you in aligning with your highest intention. Cutting away illusion, cutting away distortion to reveal your underlying clarity and then choosing to focus on that, put into writing what it is you want to create and know that this week is more so a time of gaining clarity, of focusing in on the big picture, and the next week things will really start to move forward. So don't have unrealistic expectations of, it's January 1st, everything in my life is meant to change. Resolutions are great, intentions are great, but remember that Growth and progress happens progressively. So set the intention, set the goal, and then take a step, knowing that when you take that step, the opportunity for another step will follow. And through this one step at a time, you are able to truly create the positive change and transformation available when you bring your higher spiritual awareness, your expanded consciousness, into physical reality, where you're able to receive the creative inspirations, the intuitive impressions, and to anchor those through your action, through putting it into writing, through getting clear, and through taking a step to create blessings in your life that are in the highest interest of all, that overflow beyond you to benefit all beings. Our second card for this week is white light chakra activation. The guidance I'm getting about this card is that 
This is about the activation of the energetic centers which allow you to more fully embody your soul wisdom and to access the higher guidance of your guardian angel, your higher self, the archangels, and the higher Christed beings of light who are able to support you in your life of becoming more aligned with who you are, with who you are really meant to be, taking the time to meditate, to get clear, and to open the central column of light that unites all of your chakras at, as one. You are able to tune into this through your heart center, allowing your heart to open, and then feeling this light flowing down, down in a column along the center of your being, down all the way into the earth, into the light of the core of the earth, and feeling your oneness and connection to the earth and all that is, and then letting that light travel upward, up in through the bottom of your feet, up along the energy centers of your legs, up into your base, your groin, your abdomen, your chest, your throat, your brain, your third eye, your crown, and continuing up into the light to your higher chakra energy centers all united in one pillar of light linking you from the earth all the way to the light of the infinite to the light of the source opening up this light and through this you open your faculties and abilities to receive clear inspiration and angelic guidance for how you can stay balanced centered positive and moving progressively along the path of your highest timeline to manifest the blessings available to you in your life experience and to accomplish your authentic soul work and mission fully activating the truth of the divine being you are within physical form energetically through this ascension column of light and physically and tangibly through your action through your impulse to action, through your thoughts, through your feelings, bringing all that you are into clarity and harmony, for through this you are able to impart blessings in your life and in the world around you to benefit all. And how perfect our third card is your higher self with Archangel Metatron. So this activation, this opening, this connecting with the higher aspect of you allows your higher self to anchor into your physical body, into your physical form. This is your highest authenticity manifest within your reality so that you're filled with light and able to overflow blessings around you. When you link up and get connected with your higher self, a greater level of guidance, of certainty, and clarity about the specific spiritual practices you can do to further restructure your subtle energy bodies to progress on your path of conscious expansion and awakening, and also the specific things you can do, create, and call forth to manifest within the physical. So your higher self exemplifies this balance between spiritual mastery and physical mastery, calling forth the highest light of your spirit into your physical form is a tremendous opportunity. This intention for embodiment be one of the facets of the intentions you're focusing in on and look and reflect on your life on what has fallen away and shifted and changed to allow more of your authenticity, more of your highest divine self to emerge. And also ask yourself, what can you continue to change to make your spiritual development, to make your embodiment the highest priority for your experience? Is this cultivating time for regular meditation? Is this another sort of new spiritual practice? Is this simply choosing to shift your point of awareness in the moment to regain consciousness, to retain self-awareness and claim your self-empowerment to create blessings in your life experience and in the world around you? This week, we're going to draw our bonus card from the Magical Dimensions Oracle. We have the Higher Perspective card. 
So see the positive and look for the higher perspective. And if you find yourself this week feeling down, feeling challenged, feeling a little bit of a lull as the reality sets in that the holidays are ending and it's back to normal waking life, remember that you can bring with you into your normal waking life a higher perspective of divine awareness, choosing to step back in the present moment to observe through lenses of divine love to see reality from the lens of the higher divine being you are and you are connected with to see the harmony in all beings, to see the blessings in lessons and challenges, to see the opportunity in every moment, in even the most mundane aspects of physical reality for you to practice your mastery, to view things from a higher perspective, to embody your highest divine love, I hope that this was helpful for you. If you would like further guidance and assistance in opening your clairvoyance and opening to receive clear angel messages using angel cards as a trigger, check out my course, angelintuitioncourse.com.